Today we're taking a look at the new Bachman HO Scale ACS64 City Sprinter an Amtrak engine. This is a great new model, all new tooling, great detail level. It has a new piece of technology in it that's new for Bachman, which is a well sound DCC technology decoder by TCS Train Control Systems here in Pennsylvania. It is a really great model that is really fully functional. In other words, it has just a ton of different functions and sound and lighting functions. And really important, this is the quick start guide that comes with this locomotive in the box. Highly recommend just glance through it and read the first couple pages. There's a whole lot of good information. It's not a ton, easy to read. And then the last two pages have all of your function button mapping. In other words, it shows you what all the functions are and what they do, the sounds, the lights, and so forth. So what we're going to do in this video is take a quick look at the engine, at the functions, and how it relates to Easy Command, which is our controller and other command systems. Let's take a look at some of the great sound and lighting features on the new HO ACS64 locomotive. Afterwards, we'll take a look at doing some basic programming with an Easy Command unit. There's a very prototypical feature included with this locomotive called Crew Alert. Crew Alert is function 17 on your DCC controller. and Basically it does what it does in the real world. If there's no activity on your cab or in the control cab of the engine, it gives an alert or a warning and if nobody responds in about 30 seconds the engine slows to a stop and breaks to a stop. It doesn't shut down, it just stops. So to release it, you release the brakes and the engine continues on. So to use function 17, you press it once, and I'll do it right now so you can hear it. And you get that little sound. And that sound means that the crew alert feature is on. So what I'll do is I'll run the engine for about 30 seconds, and then it's going to have another alarm sound, which means it's coming to a stop. So let's get the engine going. And we'll let it run. And that was the second warning signal. So now the engine is basically braking and it's going to come to a stop. So 
So to continue on, I have to press function 14, which is the brake release, and the engine starts up again. So like I said, it's a toggle feature. You can use it by pressing F17, and then press F17 a second time to turn off the feature. The WOW sound decoder by TCS that's in this locomotive adds a ton of functionality to our Easy Command system. The Easy Command system is an entry level system, and up to this point with standard DCC decoders, you couldn't do a lot of configuration variable adjustment with this unit. You could change the address on the engine and set off the sounds and so forth, but you couldn't go in and say change volumes on your bell or whistle and so forth. But the TCS decoder has what's called an audio assist in the decoder which can be triggered with the command unit and that way I can adjust sound levels and so forth. I'll give you an example if I press the number 8 button four times I'll get into audio assist so I'll do that right now one two three four Welcome to audio assist. now we're in audio use assist button one to hear the sound programming options use, bu use button one to adjust sound volumes use button two Map a sound to a button. Use button 9 to return to the previous menu. Use button 0 to exit audio assist. So we'll exit just for now. Bye. And that's great because I can go in and the audio assist function will walk me through changing the volumes <clears throat> and so forth on the, the decoder. Plus I can go in and do programming changes on lighting functions and motor functions and so forth. It's really a full featured decoder that lets me adjust a lot of things even with this base unit. So let's do a quick sound adjustment to see how this works. As I stated previously, we can press 8 four times. Press the button 8 four times. Nine. Welcome to audio assist. Now we're in audio assist. Use button 1 to hear the sound programming options. Use button 1 to adjust sound volumes. Use button 1 to adjust the master volume. Use button 2 to adjust sound volumes. Use buttons 3 and 4 to rotate through the sound types. Use button 1 to decrease or button 2 to increase the volume of the sound you selected. Use button 8 to save changes. Use button 9 to return to the previous menu. Use button zero to exit audio assist. Okay, so we're gonna cycle through the sounds and pick one out, hopefully the horn. Horn quill. Horn short. Horn quill. Horn long. Okay, that's the long horn. And she said number one and two will increase and decrease the volume. So we'll press one to hear it. And if I press it multiple times, you'll hear it go down. Note that it's going down. And if I want to save that setting, I press number eight. Saved. And then I press Use zero or ten to get out. Four to rotate. Bye. So now my horn is set lower. And if I want it to go back up, I can do the same thing. I can hit eight four times. So we're going to use number two. So that's pretty loud now. So we'll save that, number eight. Saved. And then exit with ten. Bye. And it's that simple. And like I said, you can go in here, and if you keep cycling through the menu when you first enter, you can get to other settings. You can get to lighting settings and motor settings and various other things that you can adjust with the easy command. It's really, really innovative and it's a great addition to easy command. DC operation of the locomotive. 
This locomotive has a very sophisticated dual mode decoder. By dual mode I mean it will run in either DCC, digital command control mode, or DC mode, which is analog, regular DC with a standard power pack. The thing to keep in mind when you're running this locomotive in DC is that it has special effects. The lighting effects, the sound effects, and so forth that operate in a sequence. And in order to do that properly, you just have to be... Uh, you don't want to jam the throttle wide open. You want to just open it up, start the engine, give it some speed, and you'll see what happens. So, keep an eye on the locomotive. I'm going to turn on the transformer. Now, I clicked it on, so I have power. but the DCC decoder requires like 5-6 volts to turn on or wake up and get going. That's about halfway up the throttle. So I'll turn this throttle up until I hit halfway and when I hit the halfway mark you're gonna hear the panograph go up on the engine and the motor sound start. So let's listen. So now I started my loco and when I give it a little bit more power you're gonna hear that the bell will ring, the forward bell and you'll get two toots of the horn, which means we're going forward, and then the engine will start out on its own. Just be, you know, gradual with it. Just rotate it slowly. And the bell will continue until you give it a little bit more voltage, and it gets around the track there. And there you have it. Now you're running in DC mode. And the same goes for when you stop this locomotive. I'll bring it around here. And I'll just slowly decrease the throttle and when I get to the lowest point before the engine shuts down you'll hear the stop horn and there you have it simple as that and I can shut the engine down and that's DC operation